In the early access demo video of Cascader, there was a clip where they made a run cycle by only making two pose. They made it seem very simple and I wanted to try out how easy it actually is for someone who is not an animator to replicate it. You can see here the final results. The hands are moving a bit weird, which I realized later, but I think it can be fixed with the correct interpolation. And I will also compare it with and without auto physics applied. The two positions that I will create are the contact and the passing poses. And for the reference, I use this picture from the animator survivor kit. First, I wanted to create a more relaxed pose by curling the fingers using local mode and I activated local tail mode. I also moved the feet closer to each other since during running they are placed close to the center of the character. I only posed one side, then selected box controllers from the other side, set the mirror plane to YZ since the character is facing to the Z direction and mirror the pose. You can also see the keyboard and mouse presses on the left side. I think that it might be helpful for some of you. For the contact pose, the hip is rotated slightly towards the first leg, which is uh, almost straight and the heel is touching the ground. The tight on the back leg is almost parallel to the spine and the knee is bent around 90 degrees. The opposite shoulder is kind of rotating towards the first leg and both elbows are bent around 90 degrees. Also the head is looking forward. For the passing pose, the character is standing on their toes. Uh, to achieve this, I locked the toes by pressing R and lifted the ankle. The right leg comes forward and the toes are pointing a bit down. The spine and the shoulders kind of back to the middle point and the hip uh, can favor the front leg since the hip is driving the movement. Once you are satisfied with the poses, you can duplicate them by selecting the interval and shift middle mouse drag the interval on the timeline. Now you need to mirror the poses and move them forward in space. Uh, to do this, select the last two keyframes and mirror the selected interval. I only later realized that the pole target for the elbows and the knees were not symmetrized, so the interpolations were messed up later and I had to do the poses again. I'm not sure if I did something wrong or is this an issue with the software, but keep that in mind and correct the pole targets if necessary. To move your character forward, select the center of mass and turn on interval edit mode. It can be helpful to turn on also the ghosts for the previous and the next keyframe to see how much you need to move and forward. Select the center of mass for the last two keyframes and move it forward so the center of mass travels kind of the same distance between each keyframe. Now select all four keyframes, duplicate them and move them forward again. Now you can set the interpolation mode for each body part for the legs I used IK and for the arms I used FK interpolation. For the head and the body I used linear and everything else is in Bezier interpolation mode. Now the animation should already look kind of okay, otherwise the auto physics tool will only make it worse. To apply auto physics you just need to turn on auto physics and if you are satisfied with the suggested changes, click the snap auto physics button. To make it into an in-place run cycle, select the whole interval, then the center of mass of the character. Turn on interval edit mode and select all the points of the center of mass. Right click on the first point that is for the first keyframe, switch to scale mode and scale it down on the z-axis until it becomes a vertical line. 
If you didn't use autophysics tool, you need to set the interpolation to fixed first. To make it look correctly, I moved the start frame to the second contact position and the end frame right before the same leg touches the ground for the next time. This way the interpolation should be correct and basically that's all you need to do. To summarize, I had a couple of issues but it's still quite a simple and fast way to make a decent looking run cycle. I also wanted to see the difference uh, with and without auto physics applied. On the left there is the without auto physics and on the right it's with auto physics. You can see that some issues with the legs and the toes are curling more accurately after the passing position. Hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. See you next time. Bye.